Yes, indeed. We're right here, live on KXP at home. My name is Larry Mizell Jr., host of the Afternoon Show, and I'm here with Jose Gonzalez. How are you doing today, brother? I'm good. Good. Happy to be here. <laughs> Man, it's good to see you. Good to have you here. Uh, you got some good light coming in. I kind of wish I was where you're at, <laughs> seeing some sun. Yeah, it's in the evening, uh, right north of uh, Gothenburg in Sweden, west coast. So, yeah. Awesome. Right on. Well, you recorded a fantastic session, new music off your new album. Uh, let's get into it. Yeah. Right on. Thank you so much. Jose Gonzalez, live on KXP at home. Trying to make sense of a now Trying to make sense of the past To show us how Visions Imagining the worlds that could be Shaping on a cycle for all sentient beings Visions Cycles of growth and decay Cascading chains of events With no one to praise or blame Yeah. 
trees and guide you See all tracks hit you out from the dark See all tracks hit you out to the stars Make the light to hit you out Make the light to hit you out We are live on KXP at home. I'm here with Jose Gonzalez. He's got a new album coming, Local Valley. Uh, tell me, what's the, what's the inspiration for the title? Well, I uh, as always, I, I start writing the songs and after a while I start to see a theme. And uh, when I wrote the Valle Local, Local Valley, uh, it felt like, uh, okay, this could be the title for the album. And it felt right uh, for many reasons. Uh, one is uh, the... The themes on many songs uh, where I have this uh, narrator voice that's sort of talking to humanity. So I think about our local valley, the uh, earth in a dark uh, and, and uninhabitable uh, space uh, or universe where we, we're in this local valley or pale blue dot, as Carl Sagan put it. <laughs> right on. I love it. I'm yeah. Speaking to humanity yeah, about our and- condition. And then um, uh, with with the song Valle Local, I was uh, having another thing in mind, uh, a, a valley where two tribes are stuck and basically not able to talk with each other or not listening to each other and, and basically not seeing the other valleys that are nearby where they could live in harmony. 
Absolutely. Sounds like a very uh, familiar condition. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's definitely, we're, we're seeing everywhere mm. right on. Um, I see that you're about to uh, uh, embark on tour. I know it's it's been a while just because of COVID, of course. Um, yeah. How are you kind of preparing for that? Well, I'm fully vaccinated, uh, which meant that I was uh, invited to a couple of countries already, to, to Spain, to Germany, to to uh, UK. And um, in those cases, I, I, it was uh, amazing the, the times where where everyone was uh, ha, where everyone was had a like, uh, what do you say a vaccine pass uh, or showed negative results because then the restrictions were let off and, and everyone was hanging out just as usual before the pandemic times. Then there were other shows that were with restrictions and though, those were a bit more boring, but but still like seeing the light in the tunnel. And so preparing yes. for this tour, I'm, I'm just uh, hoping it's gonna be, you know, no Delta around and uh, and if the Delta is around, just, you know, keep, keeping it simple and quiet. <laughs> for sure. And bringing that light yeah. to a few tunnels yeah, while you're exactly. doing it. Exactly, because uh, what I've seen, I mean, I'm excited, but I, I, I see the reactions on the people that come out to the shows there. Yeah, it's been too long. <laughs> right on. Uh, and I know last time that you were here, uh, you were here with a what 25 piece band, the String Theory. Yeah. Um, and you're, you're moving around again uh, as a solo artist. Uh, how is it kind of refreshing to get back to that routine? Yeah, it is. It, it's uh, it's what I like to do. Uh, it's what I st sort of felt started off my career, just me and a guitar. And this time, uh, me and a guitar and a drum machine. <laughs> so slightly different, but uh, but yeah, it's nice to go back to the roots. And um, and uh, once I have my, my songs, I'm open to suggestions uh, with, with my five-piece band that I also played in your studio uh, or, or the orchestra or any other collaborations. <laughs> Right on. And uh, you played your song Swing. I love that song. Um, all about dance. It feels like a, it's almost like a, like kind of a lullaby. It sounds like something, and I know that you're, you just had a, a, a new kid, a, yeah. your son, Mateo. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm Absolutely. A, yeah, I'm excited. And, and uh, um, yeah, just having first my daughter four, almost four years ago, Laura, and now Mateo, uh, I think that changed me as a person. Uh, you're forced to be more playful, more creative, <laughs> and uh, in a way, I, I wanted to to reflect that on on the on this album. So I have a couple of silly songs, a uh, danceable song, uh, and swing is you know it, it's pretty simple. It's about swinging your your body. body yeah, body. I love that <laughs> for sure. It I felt that sense of play so much, and I was just like, oh, I swing my belly all the time. <laughs> He's talking to me. Yeah. Right on. And uh, and yeah, I started that song, uh, I wrote it in Swedish, uh, and it, it was a bit too corny uh, for, mainly for the labels and my girlfriend. Uh, and uh, so I asked her like, okay, so if it's too corny, do you want to try out uh, a version in English? And she helped me to write uh, some of the lines. And and she's also singing on, on uh, at the... Uh, doing some backup vocals and she did awesome. the artwork. So it's a family collaboration. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And uh, I, did I read that that was kind of like uh, high life inspired? Yeah, I was um, inspired. Uh, I mean, I, I love uh, high life music from Ghana. Uh, whenever I DJ, I try to play happy, danceable or, or just happy music. Uh, so the guitars are a bit inspired by Ghana and high life. Uh, there's uh, the beat that's, I guess, more... I don't know, Jamaican or Caribbean with some uh, Nigerian Afro beat, uh, you know, the ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and there's some guitar. One of the, the layered guitars is more Brazilian samba. Mm. So it's a mix of everything that I like. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, same here. I caught that too. Uh, and did I read that there's, there's also some, um, some further like Fela influence in some of the music on this record? Yeah, so so I mentioned the Afrobeat the, the thing, but but uh, more uh, I guess I mentioned it with the song Head On, where where I'm uh, once I started writing the lyric to it, uh, it felt familiar to Fela Kuti's uh, Zombie, where okay. it's basically just uh, him saying stand up, st uh, slow down, <laughs> attention. <laughs> 
right all the uh, instructions <laughs> instructions uh, yeah so so yeah this uh so my song is similar in that sense and it's a list of instructions it's uh it's uh, sometimes it's just uh, mentioning uh, buzzwords <laughs> in, yes. interesting words that i found in uh, in different books uh, books of economics uh, and uh, and it's um, so that particular song is part of a trio uh, the trio is the void horizons and head on uh, where the void is um, about uh, emptiness, about death, about uh, losing something. And horizons is once you realize you've lost something, you look up and you see the horizon and all the possibilities. And then head on is the, the song for action, is the song where you do stuff. <laughs> I love it. Right on. Well, uh, let's get into uh, that because you did a fantastic performance of that. And tell me, where, tell me about the place where you recorded this session. Yeah, so I recorded the music at uh, Don Pierre Studio. Um, he's um, one of my two main sound engineers. And we, uh, he used to record my hardcore band when I was uh, 14. Uh, he's been around forever and uh, he produced the, uh, the Junip albums. Uh, so he's, he's a great friend and uh, I love his studio because it's, uh, it's tiny it's, uh, and he's uh, all analog. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And when I was looking at it, I was like, this feels so cozy and like familiar. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, uh, he's, uh, he has no windows and he basically, uh, lives during the night. So I had to shift my, <laughs> my times for, to fit his, uh, times. And I, I said all analog, but, uh, for, we, we did so many recordings, uh, so it's, uh, on, on computer, but, but, uh, it's all through analog here. I love it. Right on. Well, let's check out some more of this fantastic music. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're here with Jose Gonzalez, live on KXP at home. Action, reaction. Stay with it, hang on, engage, disengage, deal with it, head on. Head on.
para agradecer lo extraño de simplemente ser un alma curiosa singular compleja en su calma y tempestad Cuando todo va cambiando de color Y vemos al parecer Un mundo lleno de belleza y de dolor Dime, ¿por qué será? A la gente del libro Pretendiendo entender Los enigmas del universo Dime, ¿por qué será? Dime, ¿por dónde vas? Dime, ¿de dónde soy? Live on KXP at home. I'm here with Jose Gonzalez doing new music from Local Valley, his new album. Uh, when is that dropping? 17th of September. Fantastic. So soon. Yeah. Right yeah. on. <laughs> Getting ready to hit the road. Uh, you, and you've got a, a song in there, El Invento. Yeah. That's your first song all in Spanish. Am I right? Yeah, it is. It is. Strangely. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, it's the first song on the album. It's uh, the first song that I released in Spanish uh, for some reason, for many reasons. I, I kept to English as my main language when I was trying to do poetry. <laughs> uh, but I felt silly maybe like five or something years ago and s tried to write in Swedish and Spanish, but got stuck and... Uh, And uh, once I got stuck, I switched to English and then uh, I wrote another English uh, uh, album. But this time I, I f it felt differently. I, I was speaking Spanish to my daughter. I, I was, uh, as, a, as a dad, I, I've, I felt there, there wasn't a need to feel awkward about anything. So, <laughs> so I wanted to present more of myself on this album. And uh, w once I tried to write in Swedish and Spanish, it, it just worked and I had no, no problems. Uh, which is, yeah. I love that, that that came at the right time for you, you know? Yeah, it feels feels right in many ways. And, and now uh, uh, when I go to Latin America or Spain, when people ask for a Spanish song, I, I have a couple. You got one. <laughs> yeah, right on. I uh, listened to the conversation you had uh, with Emily Fox over here a couple of years ago, and you were talking about that. You hadn't yet written a Spanish song <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, you were talking about how, you know, obviously you grew up speaking Spanish in your home uh, yeah. and how that was kind of a family language. And that was the dynamic is kind of sharing with with your folks. And yeah. I love that you bring that back and you get into that zone and write that song because you're sharing it with your daughter. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, she inspired me in, in, in many ways to be a different person, a different artist. And uh, one was language. I was speaking to her as a toddler in, in Spanish, singing to her. So also this uh, sense of melody, I think, uh, uh, accelerated <laughs> when, yeah. when I was hanging out with her. Um, and yeah, just uh, feeling like I, I'm a mixture of different cultures and I wanted to reflect it on, on this album. Absolutely. That's fantastic. And I, I love how you're bringing the world to the world that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Right on. And um, how is that working? You got a, a, is Laura four? She's almost four, yeah. Okay. And uh, Mateo, two months old. How is that working schedule-wise? You're looking at a tour, hitting the road again. Yeah, we're, we're happy that we have both moms uh, five minutes away. And they're ex very, they have really good relationships with, especially Laura. And, uh, and uh, so they're really happy to help. And uh, it makes me fortunate because I'm, I'm trying to help at home and uh, waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers. And <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, how's your sleep doing <laughs> right now at two months? Yeah, no, it's, it's okay. So I've been, uh, I'm very... I, I try to take sleep very seriously. So I, I have a ring that measures my sleep and uh, I can notice uh, what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I need one of those, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> That's yeah. good to know that technology is out there. The, yeah, the technology is out there to, to measure and then also the, the science uh, to, to tell us what, what you can do to get better sleep. And, and many times it's just giving enough time for sleep to to happen <laughs> and uh, but also timing um, uh, meals and, uh, and many other things uh, light of course uh, so so uh, i think uh, we're on top of this uh, this time <laughs> last time we were more like uh, having our hair like uh, sure. <laughs> crazy and yeah and uh, yeah i know that that routine can really help when it comes to issues of mental health that's something that that i'm having to observe a little bit more and make sure I get enough sleep and, you know, my eating routine and all that. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and then also, so, so I, I feel comfortable with that. And, and, uh, I think, um, once again, I'm, I'm fortunate that we're, we're economically, economically stable, so we can, we can actually take the time to, <laughs> yeah. to stay home and not, not work all the time. But, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Have you been like enjoying the virtues of, of the downtime and rest during this time? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, because there are many negative things, of course, with the pandemic. But if I only focus on the positive things, uh, I've, I love uh, listening to books. Uh, I love uh, t going out in the in the forest, uh, walking or running. Um, I I really enjoy playing with my with, with my daughter and. Uh, and yeah, so so even though she likes playing with kids more than me, <laughs> yeah. I got I got more time than I asked for <laughs> sure. for the pandemic. Uh, so so it's been very lots of good good things coming out, and also the the time for reflection, which is uh, something that I enjoy a lot. Uh, I listen a lot to books um, of science, of uh, philosophy, and having the time to think uh, about different topics uh, is uh, sometimes a luxury in, uh, when. To avoid the, it's so common with distractions nowadays. Yeah, but, yeah. right. The noise and, and all of the emotional, you know, static that, you know, we're not always built to always be ingesting and consuming all the time. No, there, there needs to be a variation. And uh, so, so what I'm lacking now is, of course, uh, hanging out with friends and, and just, uh, you know, having a drink and, and talking loud about nonsense. <laughs> I miss yeah. that a lot. <laughs> so, For so, sure. Yeah, a balance is, uh, is good. Yeah, and all that life, I assume, is is what informs, uh, you know, your your creative process and making a new record. Yeah, yeah, I feel so. And so on on this uh, al album, uh, I incorporated some of the inspirations I've gotten through uh, playing, DJing. So so whenever I've been looking for music from from different parts of the world, I, I've I've been very inspired, and and uh, I felt like I wanted to inject that into my my album this time. Right on. Well, I'm looking forward to, I don't know if Seattle is on your, on your tour schedule, but I know you'll be back around here and back in this room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sometime in the near future. Yeah. We, we always take a trip to the coast and, and he head up north. <laughs> but uh, uh, but well, the, this first tour is going to be uh, uh, middle of the country and towards the east. Yes. I saw that right on. Well, we'll see you when we do. And uh, thank you for taking the time to talk with me and for that session. I love it. And I'm loving the, the new music and your perspective on it. Thank you for sharing that. Well, thank you. It's fun, fun talking. Absolutely. Oh, and real quick, the house you're in right now, this is where you've recorded a lot yeah. of your, your music, right? Exactly. So, so we bought this in 2019 and uh, I was looking for a studio uh, near the city. And uh, after searching for, for years, I... I decided, well, why not 
head out uh, into the woods uh, where I don't need to soundproof anything, and and I have nature j- j- right outside. So, so yeah, it's been a game changer for me. Awesome, fantastic! I love that you get to commune with nature while you create. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right on, Jose. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Right on. Take care. We're live on KXP at home. Jose Gonzalez. My name is Larry Mizell Jr. Thanks for joining us. This is KXP. Ciao. (laughs) Discover new music at kexp.org.